What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, well, we, we have another sauce review. Another sauce. Tom is probably just losing his shit. This is like, what, five or six in a row? Maybe more, I don't even know. Just calm down, Tom, it'll be fine. <clears throat> anyway, and by the way, go check out Tom Bailey at Tom Bailey on YouTube. Tom Bailey is the name of his channel. Check out his video. Um, definitely more oriented for people 18 and over, but he just tells the truth, so, you know, there you go. Anyway, this sauce is from the Angry Goat Pepper Company out of Bradford, Vermont. You can find them at angrygoatpepperco.com. And this is Angry Goat Pepper Co. Peace and Curry. Curry, Scotch Bonnet, and Peaches Hot Sauce. I love the tiger with the chili peppers above his paws. That, that is cool. Like he's meditating. That's awesome. That's really cool. <clears throat> and the artwork is by Brian Carroll of Crosscut Creatives in Corinth, Vermont. As is says right there who drew it. Pretty nice, pretty nice work there, Brian. Pretty cool. Uh, so we'll read a little right up on the side. It says, journey with us on this flavor awakening. Journey with us on this flavor awakening while our taste buds are enlightened with peace and curry. Peaches, Scotch bonnet, Scotch bonnets, Fatali chilies. Oh Lord, those are hot. And curry gives this sauce a silky smooth, slightly sweet and zen-like kick of citrus and heat. Try on pretty much anything from chicken, rice, eggs, pizza, and veggies. Medium, four out of 10. Excuse me. So we'll, we'll see. I don't know if it's going to be a four, but with them fatalis, it could be pretty spot on. But we'll read the ingredients. <clears throat> they are as follows. Peaches, yellow, sco yellow scotch bonnet mash, which is peppers and distilled vinegar. Lime juice, distilled white vinegar. Brown sugar, which is cane sugar and molasses. Yellow fatali pepper mash, which is peppers and vinegar. Cane sugar, curry powder, which is turmeric, coriander, cumin, and ginger, and sea salt. Shake well before opening. Huh. Suck the water. So yeah, fatalis are, are spicy. They're they're up. They're 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 hot. One. They're, I don't know exactly where they're at on the scale, but they're uh, they're definitely. I, I, they give me a good burn. Let me put it that way. Like, I mean, I don't have the greatest heat tolerance for sure, but all right. Let me use my knife again. Wherever it's at. Throw my bag of tricks here. Okay. Again, buck and a quarter store. Can't beat it. Good enough to open up a bottle of hot sauce. And now I just remembered what I said a couple of years ago. I believe the name of the knife company that Tom Baby buys his knife from, I believe it's Kaiser. <clears throat> Correct me if I'm wrong, Tom, pretty sure that's it though. But anyway, because like I said, if I ever need a knife, I'm sure I can get one off Tom. Uh, anyway, we're gonna open the lid here to break the suction, and we're gonna do a consistency check. Now, that's a little thicker than your normal hot sauce. I would say right now that kind of looks like maybe about a four. Four and a half, but uh, we're gonna give it a smell test. Oh yeah, I can smell the peaches, smell the scotch bars, and I can smell them fatalis. Oh yeah, this this is going to be four out of ten. Might be uh, it might be hotter than that. Anyway, I get the curry powder. I get the peaches, the scotch bar, the fatali. That brown sugar it smells really good. I'm gonna give it a pour here. Oh yeah, that's, that's definitely a four. That might be a five on thickness. I'm gonna say that's about a five. That's pretty nice consistency right there. Oh, that's gonna be a hot one. Here's what it looks like on the spoon. And here we go from the Angry Goat Pepper Company out of Bradford, Vermont, one of my favorite pepper sauce companies. Peace and curry. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, them Fatalis definitely give you a kick. It's good though. It's not as hot as I thought it would be. You definitely get the heat from the Fatalis. Definitely. My bottle. You know, you get the peaches. The Scotch bought it. That Fatali definitely giving it a kick. <clears throat> a little bit of that sugar to um, balance that out. It's pretty good. I like it. Mm. A lot of peach chunks in there too, but that Fatali got a kick. That's one of those peppers I got to be careful with because that would definitely, that would mess me up. <clears throat> it's good. I like it though. Get that great curry flavor. The sweetness of the sugars and the peaches. Uh, and you get the scotch bonnet and the fatali. Maybe a little bit of that lime juice too. That's a damn good sauce. I've been failing to tell people what I would use this on my last few videos on sauces. This I would put on pizza. Obviously, any kind of Indian dish, rice dish, pretty darn good. Maybe even put this on hummus. Pretty good. Um, heat rating, I'll go 3 out of 10. Not a 4 for me, but it's a 3 out of 10. Flavor, I'll give it a 6.5. It's pretty good. Would I buy it again? I think I would. Not bad. It's from the Angry Goat Pepper Company. They're peace and curry. Curry, scotch bonnet, and peach hot sauce. Very well done. As is most of their stuff. I think I've liked almost every one of their sauces. I mean, nothing beats Maestro's, but Angry Goat's definitely up there in the top three. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time.